Well, people ask me my thoughts about green living and, you know, uh, being environmentally friendly. Uh, you know, I, I've been involved with Save the Pine Bush for many years now. And, I mean, stopping development of our, you know, rural areas and uh, our suburban areas is a real priority to me. Not just because of the land loss and the habitat loss, but also the culture and the land. Um, I consider myself to be a good story of the environment. I know a lot of my environmental friends are horrified that I have a big jacked up truck or that I burn my garbage or uh, that I use styrofoam plates when I'm camping. But uh, truth is, I don't make a mess. You know, I, I don't, I clean the sites when I camp cleaner than when I found them. I do recycle my uh, metals and cans. And, um, you know, I believe in, you know, protecting the environment. I think, you know, one of the most important things we can do is protect open space. You know, keep farms viable, and if they're not viable, they have them turn them into woods, not suburban housing divisions. Because not only does uh, a new strip mall or uh, um, new housing development uh, change the character of the land, permanently destroy habitat, and ruin the uh, uh, envir environmental natural virtues of the area, it also forever culturally changes it, you know. Uh, you have a shopping mall, you're going to have, uh, you know, you have more policing services. you got to have more, um, you know, more government to regulate it, more standards, more, you know, just uh, controlled by, uh, you know, foreign powers versus a natural area, a small farm, rural house. You know, you don't need so much government uh, controlling every single aspect of life. And I mean, n n rural and natural habitats are, you know, places where wildlife thrive. I mean, um, not every area has to be a wilderness, and I would argue that it's actually more important to be protecting our non-wilderness spaces, because not only do they provide habitat and, uh, you know, provide natural diversity for a wide variety of animals, they also provide important products that uh, humans need. I mean, we need pasture lands because we like milk, we like our beef. That, you know, and all the other products that cows bring to us. Uh, you know, we, we need to grow fruits and vegetables to eat. We need all kinds of products that the land can produce, but also provide a habitat for many, many wild species. So I, my belief in environmentalism, it's about protecting, it's about protecting the open space, it's about protecting the rural cultures, the rural life. It's not about, you know, I mean, it, it is controlling pollution from industrial sources. And, you know, to a certain extent, farm sources and, and even residential sources, certain things, you know, like septic systems and the like need to be regulated to keep our waters clean. But at the same time, uh, you know, um, you know, I think government can go too far. And I think, you know, I mean, I think, you know, people should be allowed to, to live the way they want to, especially out in rural areas. So, um, you know, maybe I'm not a perfect environmentalist. I don't know. But I can tell you, uh, you know, I don't bring much trash to the dump. I burn most of it. And, uh, you know, I use public transit when I'm in the city, so I don't use my big jacked up truck. I mean, I put fewer miles on this truck than most people put on their passenger cars. And, I mean, I don't know, it depends on the year, but I'd say a lot of years I probably burn through less gas than most people do. And, I mean, I know when I own my own house, I'm going to go, you know, go off the grid because I don't want to pay utility bills. I don't want my money going to, you know, uh, you know, sponsor large coal dumps and dirty coal plants. I'd much rather generate electricity myself, know where it comes from. You know, if I use, when I use fuel on my offshore, I'll use propane to heat the house and cook on. I'll know how much propane I use. Well, you know, it's a set amount of money. I'll know a lot of the conditions. And same with solar and batteries. I, I, you know, you can see it. You can grasp the concept of how it works. And it means, the, uh, again, the same thing with uh, burn barrels. I mean, I don't use burn barrels kind of incinerator for garbage, but uh, keep it out of the landfill. And I don't know how much trash I generate. I'll see the kind of smoke it makes. And, I mean, I will still recycle metals and glass because you can't burn them. And, uh, you know, especially metals, they're, they're something that will get used up. I mean, plastics, eh. You know, uh, plastics are, are, are recyclable, but mostly it's, you know, lower quality products. And, I mean, burns fine. I mean, there's a lot of oil out there, so well, that's my thought on it. Uh, you know, I don't. I believe in keeping the woods clean. As I said, I pick things up, and uh, I will definitely, if I find litter around the woods, I will pick it up and burn it or hold, take it home for recycling. Well, that's my thoughts on being green.